Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at 14.6 solving equations using logarithms. 14.6 represents chapter 14, section 6 of the Pearson A Level Maths Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at exam style question 1. Solve the following equations. Part A, 3 to the power 2x plus 3 to the power x plus 1 minus 10 equals 0. Ladies and gents, I'm going to start by rewriting this equation in quadratic form using laws of indices. Firstly, the first term can be rewritten as 3 to the power x in bracket to the power 2, plus the second term can be rewritten as 3 to the power x multiplied by 3 to the power 1, the multiplication rule for laws of indices, minus 10 equal 0. Now I'm going to let y equal 3 to the power x. This will help me obtain a quadratic equation in the form y. So I've got y squared plus y multiplied by 3 to the power 1 is 3y minus 10 equal 0. Now I can solve for y. Okay, so the solutions for y are y equal 2 or y equal minus 5. But I'm solving the equation for x. So now what I need to do is replace the y's with 3 to the power x. So I've got 3 to the power x equal 2 or 3 to the power x equal minus 5. Now any power of 3 will always be positive. Over here we've got a negative number. Hence this particular equation we know straight away has no solution. So all that remains is to solve this particular equation. I can rewrite this power equation in logarithmic form. So I've got log, the base is 3 of 2 equal the power x. So now I can put this into my calculator. So if I put this into my calculator, I get x equals 0.631 to three significant figures. Moving on to part B. Now I want to solve this equation. So 4 multiplied by 3 to the power 2x plus 1 in bracket plus 17 multiplied by 3 to the power x in bracket minus 7 equal 0. Ladies and gents, I'm going to again rewrite this equation in quadratic form using laws of indices. So let's do this. Right, so I've got 4 in bracket 3 to the power 2x multiplied by 3 to the power 1. I can use the multiplication rule for laws of indices to rewrite this. Okay, so then I've got plus 17 multiplied by 3 to the power x in brackets minus 7 equal 0. Ladies and gents, 4 multiplied by 3 to the power 1 is 12. So I've got 12 lots of 3 to the power 2x plus 17 lots of 3 to the power x minus 7 equal 0. Okay, so now what I can do is rewrite this particular term. So I've got 12, 3 to the power x in bracket to the power 2, plus 17 lots of 3 to the power x minus 7 equal 0. Ladies and gents, now I'm going to let y equal 3 to the power x. And I can now rewrite the equation in terms of y. So I've got 12y squared plus 17y minus 7 equal 0. Now I can solve this quadratic equation to work out the solutions for y. So if I solve this, I get y equal 1 over 3 or y equal minus 7 over 4. Right, now I can replace the y's with 3 to the power x. So I've got 3 to the power x equal a third or 3 to the power x equal minus 7 over 4. Ladies and gents, any power of 3 is always positive, it can't be negative, hence we know straight away that this equation has no solution. Now if we look at this by inspection, we know straight away that x is equal minus 1, because 3 to the power minus 1 is just a third. That there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. Solve giving your answer in exact form 7 to the power x plus 1 equal 3 to the power x plus 2. Ladies and gents, what we need to do over here is apply logarithms on both sides in order to bring down the power using the power rule for logarithms. 
Now, as a standard, we're going to take log base 10. We could take any other base, but as a standard, we're going to take log base 10. Okay, so now what we can do as a starting position is apply log base 10 on both sides of the equation. Okay, so then we can use the power rule for logarithms to bring down the powers. So over here, we've got power x plus 1. We can bring it down in front of the logarithm. And over here, we've got power x plus 2. We can bring it down in front of the logarithm. Okay, so now we can expand this. Let's expand the left-hand side. So we've got x log base 10 of 7 plus log base 10 of 7. Equal, let's expand the right-hand side. We've got x log base 10 of 3 plus 2 log base 10 of 3. Okay, so now we're going to collect the x's and take the constants to one side. So ladies and gents, what I can now do is take that x term to the left-hand side and that constant term to the right-hand side. So I've got x log base 10 of 7 minus x log base 10 of 3 equal 2 log base 10 of 3 minus log base 10 of 7. So over here, I've got a common factor of x. I can take out the common factor. So in bracket x outside, I've got log base 10 of 7 minus log base 10 of 3 equal. I can apply the power rule over here to bring up the 2. So I've got log base 10 of 3 to the power 2, which is 9. Take away log base 10 of 7. So I've applied the power rule. Okay, so now I can combine these two logarithms. We've got a difference and the same base. So we can combine these two logarithms using the division rule. We have log base 10 of 9 divided by 7. Okay, so over here we have applied the division rule for logarithms. So now I can take this bracket to the right-hand side. I can divide to give me the exact value of x. So x is equal log base 10 of 9 over 7 divide by log base 10 of 7 minus log base 10 of 3. Okay, x equal. The denominator, you can simplify it using the division rule for logarithms. We've got a minus and the same base, which is 10. So we can combine these two logarithms. So the denominator, ladies and gents, can be rewritten as log base 10 of 7 divided by 3. That there is the final answer for x. It is the exact answer. This completes exam style question 2 and the teaching video 14.6 solving equations using logarithms. If you found the teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notification every time I post a new teaching video.